So on this video, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm not usually, most of my videos don't have anything to do with cars or anything like that, but on this particular case, I'm gonna do a project that uh, anybody that has a ridge line probably would wanna do. And uh, this is gonna be changing out the lights. And that's the, the fog lights. And on this particular vehicle, it's got a lot of bolts along the bottom. There's been some videos made of this and some of them didn't show all the bolts. So I'm gonna to try to show you all the bolts that have to be removed to get into these lights. And this is either to change them out, or in this case, I'm actually gonna change them out and do LED lights. So uh, hang with me and I'll, I wanna show you step-by-step step how I did this. And I don't think it's gonna to be too bad, but we'll see how it goes. So on this particular install, I'm using these particular LED fog lights. And I will leave the uh, link for the Amazon in the uh, description below. And we're gonna need, as far as I can tell, I'll let you know we need more, but this is the tools I know for sure we need here. And we need a, basically a 10 millimeter socket. You need a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. And in this particular case, to make it easier, you need some ramps to get you up off the ground, a light, and I'm gonna use the the uh, skateboard to get up underneath there so those are some things that'll help you out make this job easier so looking down underneath here basically you're going to remove this entire panel here you see this big panel here this whole panel has to be removed so you'll see got 10 millimeter bolt here here got a tab that pops out here Got a screw that pops out down back in here. Another tab there. And a couple of them across the, all the way around to the far side here. So we're gonna try to do those one by one and I'm gonna show you each one as we go. And uh, looks like we're gonna start with all the 10 millimeter bolts. So we're, that's these here. There's, one over there, one over here. And we're gonna wake our way across. And when you're doing this, you'll see a line right here. And this part here, I think can stay in. We'll see how that goes as we work our way across. One thing I'm doing is I'm laying these out because they're different. They're all 10 millimeters, but they're different lengths. So I'm kind of laying them on the ground, kind of where they go. And these front ones, I'm just going to lay them back here in the back. That way I know they go up here in the front just to keep track of them. Three of these the same size ones. Actually, it looks like four of the same size ones here in the front. So I'm going to lay all four of them back here. Now at this point, looks like I've got all the 10 millimeters. And there's one, two, three, four, six, four, five, six. So we have eight 10 millimeters. And you got four that are the same size, and then two that are the same size, and then two other longer ones that are the same size. So just to keep track of that, four, six, eight. So there's eight of those 10 millimeters. So now we're gonna move on and we're gonna go to the screw ones next, which are the Phillips. That's only several of these, and I'll let you know how many when I get to them. Now, it looks like there's two of these. One on, right here in the back, and one way over there in the back. So these are the, the ones that used to Phillips. Now on this one here, I had actually one that stuck, so I had to use the impact wrench. To get it loose you can use power tools but be careful putting this stuff back in at this point it looks like we have four of these pop rip rivets that's up they're actually plastic pins is what they are and you have to get in there not sure how well you can see this but you get in on each side with a flat head screwdriver and you just pry a little bit out on one side over on the other side, 
pry again on that side. Just kind of work that out slowly so you don't tear it up. And then you just work it on out. There's what it'll look like. Again, we want to keep those in the particular areas that they're at. There's the two on that side. I think there's two more on this side. Last one out and the whole thing pretty much falls out. Here it is. Taking it out. So at this point, we've taken out our piece. This is the, the piece that we were taking out. So now, when we get up inside of here, we should be able to look up in here and see our, yeah, there's our fog lamp. Right up in there, I'll get a good light on it so you can see it really well. Got a better light on it. You look in there and you'll see the kind of a rounded one there. So yeah, there's our connector right there. You see that little orange piece? That's where it disconnects and changes out your bulb. At this point, you're reaching way up in here and you want to disconnect your electrical connection. It's just a, a push button on the very bottom. You push on that and pull down. You can't really see what I'm doing right now, but basically unplugging that. Put that electrical connector off, then you reach up and grab the bulb and you turn it counterclockwise. It looks like about a quarter turn and then you wiggle a little bit. And there's your bulb. All right, here it is. So we're going to get our new bulb and replace that. And my LED bulb here. I'm going to go in and put it in the hole. Turn it clockwise. I've got it locked in. And now I'm going to put the electrical connector back on. You heard that snap. That lets you know it's snapped in and locked. Okay, at this point, I'm over here, I'm doing the other side. This is the driver's side. And again, we reach up in here, disconnect the electrical, and do a quarter turn counterclockwise. Get your old bulb out. There it is. Okay, at this point, putting in the new bulb. Jump in here. And you want to do the quarter turn. You have to wiggle it a little bit to make sure you get in there. You do a quarter turn clockwise. Make sure it's good sealed in. Put your electrical connector on. Alright, you hear that snap? That means it's in there. Now at this point, you want to Fire up your car, make sure that your lights work before you put everything back together. I'm currently into the low beams. So this only works, I believe, on the low beams. It's quite a bit brighter than the old lights. And they do work out good now, so we're going to get up under there and put everything back together. So at this point, we're going to basically put this back in and we're going to do it in complete reverse order the way we took it out. So we're going to start with the tabs, the old plastic tabs. We set it up in here, made sure it went underneath the parts that need to go under. Kind of pay attention to how we brought it out. And now I put, I've already put in one of the, one of the uh, plastic tabs here. There's four of these, so I'm going to go around and put in all four of these tabs now, just to secure it all in place. Okay, then I've got all four of those tabs in. You have to look around a little bit to make sure you get them in the right hole. There's so many holes down here, but they're the ones that don't have any kind of metal behind them. It goes right into a either a the big tube assembly here or it goes into just multiple plastic pieces so at this point I'm going to do this the Phillips next which is two of those and they go back here in the back so I'll loosely tighten them now Okay, Okay. at this point, I am putting in, I've got all my, those Phillips screws in, which are the two. So everything left is the 10 millimeter screws. 
Now hopefully you set them you, you set them in a pattern that you kind of know what your as far as the long and short ones. I did set mine. I know the long ones are in the back and the shorter ones are in the front. And then I've got the four that go in the in the very front of the car here. So I'm gonna do these long ones in the back first. Okay, I've done all but the last four. And these four go right up here on the front. I've got them in position so I kind of know where they're going. I'll loosely put in all four of these, and that'll be our final ones. At this point, I've got I've gone around and made sure all my bolts are tight. And we're ready to go. We're going to take it off the uh, ramps. And we'll check it out one last time and give you some final thoughts on how this install went. So there you have it. Wasn't too hard. Probably took me a total of maybe an hour and a half to do this. Uh, just make sure you keep track of your bolts. And uh, it's not too difficult to get in there. And I hope this helps you out on on doing this kind of a mod for your for your own self and uh, if you're sure not not sure what you're doing when you're trying to do this uh, modification and you want to ask a question in the video please put that in the video description and uh, we'll talk to you again another time